Patapon was arguably one of the best things to happen to the PSP last year. It had all the personality of something like uh, Loco Roco, but it replaced like the, the cloying whimsy with this weird like techno tribal warfare. And uh, it had this great blend of, of rhythmic action and strategic combat that was both unique and approachable. Uh, Patapon 2 is out now and it mostly offers the same kind of experience, but with a few minor tweaks and uh, a few new features. It's not a complete overhaul, uh, but it's different enough that if you like the first one, you're gonna like this one. And if you haven't jumped into the Patapon pool at all yet, uh, now is as good a time as any. Now, if you're new to Patapon, the basic idea is that you're commanding this army of shouty, monocular, tribal creatures as they march across the screen, encountering enemies and, and various other obstacles along the way. Uh, you don't have any direct one-to-one -one control over the Patapon, uh, instead relying on the power of rhythm to compel them. Each of the face buttons corresponds to a different percussive sound, uh, and the different patterns that you generate trigger different actions. You throw out a four-beat pattern, your pat upon, respond and react accordingly, you rinse and repeat. Uh, a lot of the music seems recycled from the first pat upon, but it still works. Uh, it still manages to get hopelessly stuck in your head as well. Like the original, the rhythm to Pat Upon 2 is pretty loose and forgiving, uh, which matches the kind of improvised electronic drum circle sound uh, that the, the music has, uh, though it's not without its challenge. Uh, part of that comes from the way the music builds as you change the other commands, uh, making it harder to keep track of the beat just as things get more complicated. It'll eventually erupt into fever mode, uh, which has the added benefit of making your Pat Upon's attacks fiercer. Much of the strategy, though, comes from which types of patapons you choose to bring into battle with you. Uh, patapon come in a bunch of different classes, though you won't start off with a full army of 18 patapon at your disposal. You'll have to complete missions to earn the cash and supplies you'll need to create new patapon, and these same resources can be used to upgrade and evolve the patapon you already have. You also get a hero character who you can assign different classes to uh, before you get to the marching. Uh, and these hero characters also have these uh, special abilities that you can trigger during fever mode. Patapon 2 introduces multiplayer to the series as well, allowing for up to four players to bring their heroes out into a shared adventure where you have to protect this big ass mysterious egg against peril. Uh, and it can, it can yield some really awesome rare items uh, if you make it through it successfully. If none of your PSP having buddies have picked up Patapon 2, uh, there's a game sharing option as well. It's worth noting that Patapon 2 is only available as a PlayStation Network download here in the US, so uh, no UMD. Uh, so you're, you're going to need a memory stick with at least about 360 megs or so of free space uh, to play the game. This kind of seems like it could be the future for the PSP, and uh, I can see some folks preferring to buy the physical media, uh, but the upshot here is that you get a lot more battery life out of your PSP uh, because you're not constantly spinning that UMD. Uh, also, uh, Sony is offering Patapon 2 right out the gate for the same price that you can pick up the original on UMD. The first Patapon was charming as hell, with its weirdly emotive characters and the chanting music that had a way of insinuating itself into your subconscious. Uh, and Patapon 2 hits the same notes, and it hits them just as hard. Uh, though as a mildly iterative sequel, it probably won't have the same impact on returning players. If you haven't played Patapon before, though, this is arguably a more approachable game and a more attractive package in general.